the day of the patch is finally here guys we're gonna have a look to see what exactly changed in dragonair silent gods today now i do have two different accounts of course i have the account that is in season three and recently i started a new free-to-play account that is in season one so we're gonna check all of the changes this video is brought to you by dragonair silent gods so i just want to say a big thank you to them for sponsoring the video if you guys haven't tried dragonair silent gods just yet or you want to help and support the channel you can download the game by using my link in the description down below or in the pinned comments or by scanning the qr code you see on the screen but without further ado so here we covered everything yesterday in a different video where we went over all of the patch notes okay so if you haven't checked that out feel free to do it uh right here in the inbox we are getting some uh some compensation some form of a compensation of course so server maintenance you're getting some wire marrow then uh you're getting some more stuff from uh, arena right here which you know what i'll happily take it and we have some more unclaimed rewards now they changed some ui things on uh, how you can actually see things on uh on the map from what i understood you have world area dungeon challenge exercise this actually looks pretty pretty well if we are quickly checking the fame ender uh i think the changes came into play for this uh this particular area or maybe not just yet uh, there are a couple of things that were a bit unsure at the moment we don't know um how they're planning to do all of the the changes we know that a lot of changes happened in season one uh we're still waiting to hear for uh more uh, more news related to what is happening with uh, the rest of the seasons maybe they had some uh, difficulties in how they were able to implement all of the changes across all of the seasons at the same uh, at the same time at least that's kind of like uh, what i am assuming so fame men are still the same i don't think 100 percent that we got uh, new areas for all of the the dungeons Seems like we still have uh, multiple goblins on the map, at least in uh, in season three. So we're quickly going to check this. So basically, we're getting like a chest right now. They've made a, a bit of an adjustment with uh, with the gear, and we still have nine stages uh, here at the moment. Now, if we're quickly going to check arena, that's something that uh, changed for everybody. And from here on, uh, we're gonna have a uh, uh, daily daily ranking rewards and they completely revamped the entire uh, arena map this looks actually much much uh, much much better you know so i think right now we're all gonna start on uh on the same level you know so let's see how uh, how it looks in here if we're doing uh if we're doing a fight you know yeah so we can basically speed up the fights in arena which is awesome uh it will be very very helpful for the tag team arena you know for a uh, team arena uh, the rewards i'm curious to see that so the rewards seem to look pretty pretty decent considering that this is daily guys okay so that is actually not bad mainly the gladiator seal because we're going to be able to purchase different goodies from the store with it right so if you go at exchange and if you head uh, over to the arena shop the prices are still the same okay and None of these things are locked by tiers anymore for the regular arena. Seems like for Team Arena, uh, you still have uh, you still you still have those tiers, so you can just jump uh, jump on and purchase what you want. But you can just go and purchase the rest of the the rest of the things without being locked into a tier, including the lucky playing cards legendary artifact, which is definitely pretty pretty important. Let me just quickly check to see if anything anything changed in here we had the weekly reset seems like i can purchase my uh my legendary hero as well which is awesome and i still have a week left uh, left to go at events curious if uh, anything uh, changed in here they mentioned they improved the rewards for the hard training event so we're quickly going to check that as well let me just quickly cash on uh, on my rewards rank 39 definitely not too not too bad because i've been slacking quite a bit so this is the new hard training event we are getting uh the material seems like they are basically put in a chest right now and uh yeah seems like pretty much are the same i think they just kind of like revamped them uh they added the multiplicative uh, challenge ticket to to the rewards which is nice and i'm not sure if they've added uh any other things right here i'm curious to see on this uh, ranking leaderboard this seems to be uh, seems to be pretty similar except 
they've added these uh, challenge tickets to, to them, you know? Which, hey, I'll take them. They're actually very helpful, especially when you're farming dungeons that uh, take quite, uh, quite a bit of time, you know? So definitely, definitely pretty good. Then let's see what other things we have, uh, we have in here, if they added anything, uh, anything new. So nothing in particular there. The Psychic Core apparently got revamped, I think, right? Okay, maybe not just yet. So the Psychic Core seems to, to be the same in Season 3 at the moment, guys. And uh, I'm quickly going to check to see if they added uh, any, different, uh, any different offers, you know? So these are still the same here. Treasure Market seems to be the same, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't actually had a look at this in, a, <laughs> in quite a while. But yeah, by the looks of it, they seem to, to be the same. Now, let me just quickly change to Season 1. So, I have this free-to-play account. I haven't made a lot of progress just yet, guys. I haven't been able to play at all, actually, yesterday. I've been super, super busy. But I'm definitely looking forward to see what changed in here. So, we have Season Journey, Start of Journey. This is definitely new. And it seems like they're finally, finally bringing in another legendary... Uh, hero and we're getting a legendary artifact we're getting legendary scrolls and we're getting quite a decent amount of helialite dice from here guys this is actually awesome and then we're gonna have different things uh in here probably this is how they revamped the entire uh, world map so this is awesome actually they've made nice uh very nice changes in here we're getting charlash he's a pretty awesome uh pretty awesome summoner he's one of the best actually in terms of damage he summons the best uh the best uh, summon, uh, summon character in there. So let's... Oh, there we go. 500 uh, wire marrow. I'm taking that. Hell yeah. And now we can claim all this. We got another legendary hero. And scrolls. And summons. Let's go. I'm a big, big fan of this. Now they do need to sort it out. Uh, in a way that uh, the players that completed all of this content in Season 2 in Season 3. Will uh, basically get all this as a compensation. I'm pretty sure... Uh, they are sorting that out as well. So these are the average missions right here. Tons of Heliolite dice, tons of scrolls, tons of wire marrow. Uh, how I mentioned, I haven't really progressed a lot just yet. But that's how it looks now. And that's actually awesome. Season 1 became much, much better. And I'm sure they will work on sorting out the rest as well. Now, in terms of compensation, guys. Right here, we are getting quite a few things. So let's see more Heliolite dice. And this is Book of Adventure. We got to check the journal because they changed something in there as well. So we got some wire marrow. We got, we got more wire marrow and 10 Heliolite dice. Awesome. This was actually desperately, desperately needed. We got a new thing, which is the Pale Scroll. This is an artifact. Okay, so this is a new rare artifact, I think. That is awesome. I think it's an artifact, right? It seems like it. Yeah. And this is another artifact. So we got... Two new rare artifacts, guys, that you are getting from uh, completing the, the campaign. That is definitely really, really nice. We actually need more artifacts. Assuming that they are artifacts. They kind of look like it, you know. But we're going to check them in just a second. Or it might... Yeah, I think it's, a, I think it's an artifact, yeah. Uh, refine attack, you're getting 4%. Refine 8 basic attack, have a 60% chance of triggering a lightning chain to deal attack lightning damage. Okay. So, seems like we got some, uh, some artifacts in there. This is for Arena. I'm definitely taking that. We got the server maintenance. And this is basically announcing us that we have the server maintenance. Now, here, we do have a lot of changes. So, the new Psychic Core seems like uh, it will be changed a bit. So, attack of all deployed heroes will be increased. That's pretty nice. Then, Kree damage dealt by all deployed heroes increased. And what do we have? Uh, damage dealt by all deployed heroes increased. And the rest of the things, I would assume, they are quite different too. So you have 10 levels here. A hero elemental affinity bonus attack of all deployed heroes is increased to 200. Then uh, you're getting the HP here. You're getting the defense. This is a uh, more attack. It goes up to 20%. Then the accuracy still goes to 50. And here we have two, two different ones instead of one. So what do we have here? Damage taken by all deployed heroes, minus 20%, that's super, super good. And elemental damage dealt by all deployed heroes, plus 20%. So the Psychic Core definitely got uh, revamped quite a bit. That's actually pretty, pretty awesome. Elemental power is still, uh, still the same. 
And I think we're quickly going to check uh, what do we have in terms of events in here. So this is day four for me on this account. This is still on. I should definitely make the most out of it today and tomorrow. The hard training event looks very similar. Fortune Seeker, uh, Equipment Lucky Day, Grave Racing. Okay, so this seems to be pretty much the same at the moment. Upcoming events, anything uh, changed in here? Seems like they are still uh, still looking the same on, uh, on the aspect. The Alliance still looking the same. The Clepsydra Trail, uh, basically they changed all of the rankings. So people that were... Uh, High on the leaderboards, they got compensation for all of these uh, changes now. So that's going to be more than uh, more than fine for uh, for the players. The journal. Let's see what do we have in here. So we still have the current commissions as uh, as before. Then, from what I understood, this uh, this part right here, sorry, got a bit of a re uh, revamp. You know, so now we have chests for all of the sandstone extract. Uh, we're getting heliolite dice from here too. Uh, I think we are going to see more Heliolite dice down the line, moving to the, to the next chapters. And this is something that we've been asking them since the beta, guys. These changes are actually massive. So if you start a new account right now, Season 1 is going to be bonkers for everyone. Now, of course, they do need to work on Season 2 and Season 3 to sort it out. I'm pretty sure they had some, some sort of difficulties with them implementing all of the changes across all of the seasons at the same time, at least. That's what I'm uh, assuming, you know. I don't think my dungeons are unlocked just yet, guys. So I might not be able to uh, go over uh, every single uh, every single one of them to see uh, all of the stages because I don't have the Grave of Venom unlocked just yet. But we're quickly going to check the Goblin. So right now, we should only have one Goblin dungeon left. Not two, not three. And this should have increased levels. And yes, it did change all the way to... Uh, level 12 and you are getting journey xp from running all of these dungeons so this will quickly help you to level up your uh, your journal your chapters very very nice so i think uh the rewards the xp potions they still might seem to be the same if i'm not mistaken now there is another feature which is kind of like uh hero training maybe i haven't unlocked uh, that just yet on this account to be able to kind of like uh, showcase that uh, for you guys. Uh, the Dream Draft is the 99 uh, cents chest which was left in here from uh, before because I haven't purchased it. Now you are getting Vikuk if you spend 99 cents, guys. An amazing, amazing character. The value pack is still the same. We still have the 2x Dragon Crystal in here because uh, I haven't purchased anything on this free-to-play account, of course. And I do want to see if they've added any offers in here, for example, you know, so if we're going to go add a store, departure summon pack, so you can actually get the lantern of the dead, with, which is another legendary artifact, and you can get uh, 25 heliolite, uh, right here you can get uh, Gaioler, which is another legendary hero, he is a summoner, so this is actually a nice, uh, a nice departure pack right here. Value packed, Dragon Crystal, Treasure Market. So at the Treasure Market, it seems like uh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, definitely nice changes right here for uh, for Season 1, guys. Now, there is a couple uh, of other things that changed. How I mentioned, all of these dungeons got higher, uh, higher stages, including the domains. So let's actually head over to one of the domains and see what do we have in here. You see, it's going all the way up to Stage 12. And yes... Ooh, what is that? We got new currency. So we are getting 8 instead of 5 now, guys. Lightning Agate. Supreme Lightning Gem used to improve Lightning Heroes. What exactly do you do with this? Can you rank your characters higher than uh, level 100 and rank uh, rank 5? Is that what it, do uh, what it does? No, so we still have 5, uh, five ranks. But probably, probably it's going to be needed for the last ranking. Uh, ranking. I I would assume. So they added this option where you can actually reset your character from here without having to go to the event, which is nice. Hmm. I wish I could see... I wish I could see what I need to basically use in order to rank my characters to, to a higher uh, higher thing, you know? So we cannot reset right here. Not sure why it's pushing me to, to do the reset. Uh... Upgrade, a quick upgrade. That was manual upgrade, my bad. So I'm curious to see 
if we're going all the way to level 90, do we require the new material for that? Is that what it is? I think that's what it might be. If no, who knows? Okay, it's not... Ah, yeah, it's that. So now you require 20 of those to rank up your character. Okay, so hopefully uh, the drop rates for them are good and it's not actually harder to rank up uh, characters because it was already uh, a lot of a grind in the Goblin and in the Domains to build up all of your teams uh, throughout a season, you know? So hopefully, hopefully that won't... Uh, change too much in a in a bad way now uh the way you are acquiring these hammers to upgrade your forge changed a little bit as well guys it's kind of like uh, uh i think I'll, to allow you to to get them uh, done earlier you know i would assume that's uh, that's what it is but yeah so far changes look pretty good now there are a few different things that i cannot uh, show you like the fame mander as well which changed because i haven't unlocked it on this free to play account but i'll probably do another video on it um uh, tomorrow or the day after guys just to kind of like uh go over all of the things that i haven't been able to to show you now i definitely love the new the new uh world map the way you're seeing everything in here you have the grand arena the outland reefs uh exercise so i haven't unlocked them yet which is the Feymander and the pillar of trials but uh it looks pretty pretty dope super curious to see the Feymander uh now and um yeah i'm definitely gonna do a different uh, different video on that let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all of these changes. Season 1 looks badass right now and I am looking forward to see all of these things uh, added to Season 2, Season 3 and moving, uh, moving forward to it. I'm pretty convinced that they are preparing some uh, form of compensation for all of the players that are in Season 2 and in Season 3. Uh, the same way they've done it with the Epic Hero. You know, when they've introduced the Epic Hero in the campaign, uh, they actually gave it to everybody that's in season two and season three as a compensation, right? So I would assume everything else will follow as a as a compensation for uh, for the players. I think. If no, I'm sure they're gonna figure something uh, figure something out. And uh, yeah, guys, that was all for the video. Thanks again to Dragoner for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to download Dragoner Silent Gods, head over to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comments or scan the QR code you see on the screen. Much love and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.